Hello. Like you, I've been wrestling with survival under the threat of the COVID-19 epidemic. And I've followed all the official advice. And yet I'm aware so much of the things that nobody has told you. The advice we haven't been given and the advice which could save your life. For example, when you do go to the supermarket, always wear gloves. Ordinary gloves will do. But there will be virus on the handle of the shopping trolley. There'll be viruses on all the surfaces that you touch. There may well be virus on the shopping itself. So what happens when, if you're old and in an at-risk category like me, what happens when you have a delivery of food? What do you do to keep yourself safe? It may be all very well to wash your hands, but the moment that you pick up shopping that may be contaminated with the virus, your hands are contaminated again. No, it's very important. If somebody comes into your house, make sure that it's safe. Make sure that it's sterile. And it's really very easy to do. If you need to sterilize something that comes into the house, then bleach. Hypochlorite bleach is what you need. A single tablet dissolved in a bowl full of water. An egg cup full of bleach in a bowl, a washing up bowl of water, or a single bleach tablet in that bowl will give you a liquid that will destroy the virus and make all your shopping safe. The tablets are convenient, but God, they take a long time to dissolve. So, we have some apples dropped off on our delivery shelf. How nice. They're handled in latex gloves. And they go straight into the bleach. Might the apples have been handled by somebody with the virus? Well, just in case, we'll tip them out and give them a soak on their own. And a nice bottle of fizzy lemonade. Very nice. Just the job to make some nice tasty fizzy drinks, mixers, cocktails. Got a bag of flour or a box of cereal, then you can always wipe it over with a cloth. The apple wrappings go straight into the bin and so do the gloves. That one is peeled off, that one is peeled off and they go too. And now we go to wash our hands. Now I know what you're thinking. That sounds much too much like chlorine washed chicken and I certainly wouldn't ever have any chlorine rinsed food in my kitchen. I bet you do. Don't you buy those plastic bags full of rocket and salad leaves? All of those, to keep them free of bacterial contamination, all of those are rinsed in chlorite bleach. Yes, they are. You've been eating chlorine washed vegetables for years. And if there's a trace of chlorine left behind, well, usually there isn't, but let's, let's pretend there is. Your body depends on chlorine. Your cells can't live without chlorine. It is chlorine that underpins the production of the gastric juice in your stomach, so without it you couldn't even digest your food, and you wouldn't survive without it. There is nothing wrong with a little chloride, a little chlorine, in your diet. In fact, it's vitally important. So, using a little dilute bleach, and then rinsing it off and wiping the goods dry, will allow you to ensure that there isn't any virus contamination on food that comes into your house. And believe me, at a time like this, being absolutely certain that your, your inputs are sterile could make the difference between living and not surviving at all. And believe me, at a time like this, there is nothing more important than that.